jumps off and goes ridiculous uh, across these last couple uh, because the skill level of this lobby is apparently just that good here mm -hmm. when it comes to EMEA. So let's see how it's going to unfold. So far, so good. Looking at all the uh, players jumping out of the plane, not seeing any massive overlaps. Not that I'd expect to see it with a plane path of that sort anyway, but you mm. never know. You never know who's going to try and take a vehicle away from someone else. Um, it is interesting to see, though, just looking back a couple like couple of months, half a year, I should say, to last time we had EMEA play. I mean, in Tropic Picado. Then, I mean, Twisted Minds, thanks, you're still in Power Grid, so that's something we've seen before. But outside of that, there are so many teams in places that are so new. And now the circle, well, so far north, hopefully... Um, Hopefully, teams will know what to do and where to go. Because just for us watching this now, James, so many things have changed. So you wounded one. You can see yeah, after all yeah. now on the rotation, wrapping around south. Again, curious to see where they're opting to enter the circle from. While that's going on, MTB trying to fend off against... Oh. <laughs> Nay takes down three! Mabate no. already on the scoreboard this game after taking down Cliff, and now he almost single-handedly took out the entirety of GDE. Oh my god. That was... Oh. That was a pre-nade and a half, that was. <laughs> lovely. It's in that exact area right now with Entropic riding side by side with him. He'll steal, still got his shack, blue. Not pulling up on this one, continuing forward. I uh, definitely not. See if you do anything about this as well with Entropic. Trying to bear down on them, but Twisted Minds might have something to say about that. So will also MTB. They're in the middle of everything, and I don't think they're going to survive. Yeah, no. Twisted Minds here, trying to uh, stay put as well, but Tool and Spiro forced into hiding. There's multiple teams are looking in their direction. Good thing they got inside the buildings. Able to sit tight now. And, uh, well, at least for a little while longer. They should be okay. Code Marco, though, not the same really can be said about him. No, definitely not. Let's see now. As Entropic, gonna find the shack and chill in there. Not much more that they can do with that. Uh, still a lot of fire going on. Those teams that are gonna need to transition as alt after alt on the west side. Trying to slowly sneak up on a very split up question mark who where a doozy is gonna have to get with the rest of his team. Yeah. Fix. Look over Spots Woo on the other side. Hell's teammates on the other side could potentially help out. Spots one down below. Best of luck. Who falls? Second one to follow. Crazy goes down. Not for taking out Gusta though. James has fallen as well. So Corexi needs to come in and needs to help him. Issue is he is isolated and then some from his teammates. So Gusta will fall. He'd be looking for more on the other side as FaZe find themselves in a pretty dire situation. Oh, Baron looking forward. Trying to find some, but all he's met by is a few bullets in return. Has to back off of that one and Again, Vex and, uh, and teams able to stay put. They managed to get teams back up alive. So enough players on the hillside that uh, that they should be fine. For now, as I say that, actually, teams not quite on his feet. More so on his knees. Let's see, after all, continuing to push on forward. Vex should be able to back off of this one. Teams will fall, and after all, no! In the midst of the rotation, losing one by running into one another. Klim, that nade should be on point. It doesn't have to be near, because he is so low HP already! And because of a little vehicle mishap, not only do after all fall, but look at Corexi in the distance, making his run across the street, able to, you could only imagine, regroup with Vex in just a moment. So E4, M4 are dealt with, because having a player behind him like that would be tricky now question mark Ooh, this is really really helpful for face chris finds dante on the rich line forcing question mark to hurry up the process of the push they're currently in the middle of fix is here correct is here and a good split position vex finds one goes down return, but once again ascent here to do damage and doozy wants to do damage down below and surprising to me Sarvam ain't really doing a whole lot to impact this now face will fall but Hubba has gone down, the rest are coming through, and as you can see on your minimap now as well up towards the north, Ace are making their way further down south. Ascent are on the run, they want to clear question mark, they want to get them down. 
before they get the rest of the up. Because if they can clear this rich line, they're going to have so much more room to maneuver. Dante, well, can't commit to him. He's trying to crawl his way back towards his teammates. But I think Question Mark has realized that Ascent are in the nearby vicinity. Nate, he's not gone over. Still first, able to fight the first. Ascent, though, still got the advantage in numbers. Mexico, trying to hold from the back. I mean, again, the compound is still inside the circle, technically. They could just have sat in the compound and waited this one out, but then... Uh, where BBL is. Yeah. Kill your kite nading. Really never is fun to fight in the open. It's even less fun to fight in the open when there's a compound overlooking the entire valley you're in. Not exactly making things any easier. No, no. DA, where are you going from here? Uh, the one thing that kind of potentially poses a threat to them later on is the north as well as the east, whilst they finish this off. And just a little bit too shy, I think. Yeah. Oh, get him down again. Never yep. mind. Yeah. Rena comes through. Rust and Marlon, that nade could be perfect. Nope. Camera angle caught me off. Marco, though, will find him on the edge of the smoke, <laughs> and that is BBL out in eighth. And now, well, they can go back to kill Steel's former shack and say, well, I guess we're the only team inside the circle. Yeah, until Zarvam, like, somehow recover and then look down towards DA. DA actually has a really sick plateau, so... That's up towards the northwest side of the map. Ascent force down the hillside. Here they come, full speed forward. Metralius, pre-nade thrown on in. Hmm. Going to be bouncing a bit too far off on the side of this one. Should be an easy, easy one for DA. One down, two down. There falls Ascent. Great tracking, and makes it easy pickings there for them. But how much are you going to be able to do... I don't know. Going in towards MTB and yeah, absolutely getting wrecked on the backside of that. Not much that they could get away with. It was a bit of a uh, do or die anyway mm. for them. So MTB now going to probably be looking the way of as much as they don't want to. Twisted Minds who are going to try and hold them off from the north. I mean, first Ooh. game for MTB, they got nine kills in a sixth place. Now, first game on Miramar, they get themselves double digits and fifth place guaranteed. Meta Bay will fall. Spiro flashed by a teammate, I think. Forced to go off the end of the port now where the UMP from Katurk and able to take him down. But dual instincts are on the side. Spots one mid transition, able to take him down as well. He's going to have to be careful about the side, right side here. And they do peak at the same time. But Batulins is absolutely leathering them here with these shots. Pulls out the sawn off. Hello? Okay, well, I mean, he had to try something because he was on fire as well. <laughs> yeah. Not an easy position to be in. I mean, MTB, they're playing Sawn-Offs and UMPs. They landed in and around this area. They looted this area. And they haven't gone anywhere at any point. So very limited in what they've had to work with. And, uh, well, for a CTR... I can't say that. I have to say Katurgan. That's his name. <laughs> uh, um, that's fine. For, for Katurgan and Esqui, it ain't going to be easy. Because this fight, depending on how much Navi commits to it, should happen without the uh, kind of the impact of any of the other two remaining teams. Yeah, there's some of the masters of cleanup from Navi, especially when it comes to sweeping edges, right? So for MTV, it's uh, it's not easy. It is not solvable, usually, this puzzle that Navi's going to be throwing at them. And they'll be throwing it in the form of grenades into the smoke, right on the head. And now it's up to good old CTR Ken, Katurkin. Cool. Never mind, there's a vehicle there as well. Kabam. Bye-bye. <laughs> Kabam indeed. Navi, four alive still. Sarvim, again coming out of the south side. Dream relocates. Hmm. Well, Navi, perfect rich to work with, but only perfect for another 50 meters or so. Sarvim, in the meantime, forced to go into a 2 2 split. They had the rock opportunity up to not go for it. Drives further forward. Oh, no. Into the open arms of DA. Here comes a burning Irado. Australia's dodges and weaves and Sarvim. I was just going to say there was one more in the car, Metralius. You're not going to take him down. Well, there he goes. Stop him. Yeah. Just saying, DA, you want some kills? Because, well, here they are. I mean, it was what I was saying, though, before, right? Like, it's either you fight across against Na'Vi and then get moved to a place where you don't have a ridge line, or you extreme relocate. And they went for option two. Did not work, especially with the 2-2 split of DA. But now, Na'Vi smells blood. Also, the idea of it is that they see the split. Of DA, they yeah. say four four people on on Navi. Nah, let's opt to go for the two on DA. Issue is that while they go for the two, the remaining six players are also shooting at them. So mm -hmm. not exactly easy. And now four v two, Navi's favor. This one should be a, a pretty simple cleanup duty game for them.
do you ever want to see again DA? Because we've got flashes for days. And, <laughs> and yeah, I don't know how they managed to get themselves out of this one, but this is this is a Navi on the warpath as soon as they're able to play it out from what they did before and see the kind of sense Sarvan makes into DA. That was the perfect opportunity for them to yep. just push up on this, conquer the 2-2 split. And, well, technically, DA is not dead yet, but it will be difficult. I question Navi's superiority in EMEA. And first <laughs> uh, thing they do is come steamrolling double digit into what I could only imagine will be a chicken dinner a couple of nates from now, whether it be DA going out to blue or trying to take a fight on here. But Navi clearly high caliber. Never expected anything else, but glad to see that they're able to pull this off. Should be again a pretty clean stream around the side. One nate to work with. Not gonna happen. There you go. 13 kills for Navi, the world champions, as they came the first room off the day. And that's what you get, Toby. That's what you and get. I, 